Hello and welcome to this English 2.1 video on understanding the question. The question that is that will be presented to you in your end of year exam to write your essay on. In this video we're going to go over how the questions are asked. We're going to go about breaking down the exam question, showing the structure of the question. Then we're going to go over what the important parts of the question are. And finally what are the next steps for you. So starting off with how are the questions asked in the exam. So what will happen is you'll walk into the exam hall, you'll get your exam paper, and there will be seven questions for you to choose from. And it should look something like this. This is from the 2018 exam paper. So there's a list of seven questions. You're asked to choose one of these to write your essay on. And all these questions vary significantly from each other. They're all different questions. So the questions will vary significantly, and also the questions change from year to year. But many of the key aspects remain the same each year. So although the questions change, similar questions come up every year, but with different combinations of aspects. So later in the video we'll go over what this means, but what you need to know now is there are components of the questions that remain the same every year. But what changes is the combinations of these components, and again we'll go into this in more detail later in the video. Now let's go on to breaking down the question structurally. Questions can be broken down into two parts, and broadly there's the same formula for every question. It's analyse how x shows y in the text, and we're going to call x part 1 and y part 2. So the first part, x, is an aspect of the actual book. So something like the language features, structure, character, and important events found in the book. And in a question it would just be one of these. Now why, the second part, is often something like the idea or message, the theme, the emotional response behind a book. So when you get a question, identify what the first part is and what the second part is, and that'll help you answer the question. So some examples of these with real exam questions. Analyze how language features were used to shape your reaction to one or more ideas in the written text. So you'd identify that language features were part one, and your reaction to one or more ideas is part two. So this does broadly follow the analyze how x shows y in the text formula. Another example is analyze how the structure of the text contributed to the writer's purpose, structure being the part one, and writer's purpose being part two. And a final example, analyze how humor was used to highlight an idea, humor being part one and highlighting an idea being part two. So that's how you break down the question into two parts, and you'll see why this is important. And that's because similar components are asked every year, but in different combinations. So there'll be similar part ones every year and similar part twos every year, but they're asked in different combinations. And I'll give you a list of examples. So here are some questions from the past few years, and you'll notice that language features come up every year. So that's a common component, and also here's structure a couple of times. You'll also see commonalities in the part two. Writer's purpose comes up, there's a couple of readers emotional responses, but you can see they're not the exact same questions year after year. They can come in different combinations. For example you can see structure here with writer's purpose, whereas in 2015 language features is with writer's purpose. Now we're going to go over what the important parts of the question are the components that come up year after year. Based on previous years, seven aspects come up year by year, and they're the most common aspects or components that come up. And here they are. For part one of the question, language features, structure, and important events come up year after year. For part two, we've got theme or idea, reader's emotion, and writer's purpose that come up year after year. Here we've got character that comes up commonly for both part one and part two of the question. We'll cover each of these part one and part two aspects in depth with a video on each of them later. So don't worry about these now. And as I've kind of talked about, they come up in different combinations each year. So it might be how important events show a theme or idea one year. One year it might be how important events show the writer's purpose. As you can see, there can be quite a few different combinations. And combos of these seven aspects are a minimum of two of the seven questions each year, often more than two questions. So with that in mind, it's ideal to prepare for multiple part one and part two aspects. So in the exam, there will be a combination that you can answer. So these are the important parts of the question. So what do you need to do now? If you have no idea what to write about your book and your essay, then just continue watching the videos through. So watching the next seven videos on those aspects, and as you watch each video, bullet points some ideas or examples from your book. Then at the end you'll have a bunch of notes that'll help you write your essay. So once you've watched those seven videos, then watch the videos on writing an essay. Those are the last two videos. And then have a practice writing your own essay. Or if you're pushed for time, making an essay plan. And you can make essay plans for a number of different combos to help you prepare for the exam. But all this depends on how much time you have left to study. If you already have a good idea on what to write about, then just watch the videos relevant to your chosen aspects. And then watch the videos on writing an essay. And have a practice yourself writing the essay. Or again, if you're pushed for time, making an essay plan. I hope you now have a better idea on understanding the question that they're presenting you in the exam. And I'll see you in the next video.